What's up, Facebook? What's up, Facebook? What's up, YouTube? How everybody doing this evening? Good evening to everyone. Hey, listen, I'm not going to be here long. Um, just wanted to share this post uh, <clears throat> that I shared to my Facebook page and my um, Instagram page that uh, I found the post to be very hurtful and um, yet understanding as to the message that the post was sending. It is not that long. It's about two minutes long, and we're going to take a look at it um, here in a second. But I want to let you know that the graphic nature of this post will offend some and hurt others. I want to let you know that the graphic of this post may bring forth a large conversation uh, behind the why uh, I chose to do a short podcast on this post. The post is the history or some of the history of police brutality and police murder. I'm not going to say shootings, I'm going to say murder, which you're going to see in this post and you're going to be disgusted and appalled by some of the shit that you're about to see because it's going to bring back memories of so much that we have endured not only these last 10 to 12 years but throughout the course of the history of the black race so I'm going to play this for you now and remember that the scenes are really really graphic and it's going to be hurt because I barely was able to get through it myself. The anger and hurt that rose in my chest was so hard to overcome that I literally had to turn it off the first fucking time. But went back to watch it again. So with that being said, we're going to jump into this video. And I'm going to let you guys see this. Horrible, horrible acts from police all over this country. Let's get it. Oh, What so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous path or the A lot of us A 
lot of us recall these acts of terrorism by the police officers of this country, the white police officers of this country, on um, both black and brown human beings. They disregard us as human and feel like we are animals that they can just do this shit too. I won't lie to people, it hurts so bad just to see this stuff again because we haven't seen it in a while now since um, George Floyd it's, it's it's been on a hush hush. It's still happening. Don't don't think that it's it's not happening, people. It's still happening, but they're getting smarter as time goes on. Because they are now not letting us know that this act of terrorism is still going on. It is so shocking that we live in a day and age where people that are that have sworn to upload up held the law breaks it just as about as much as the people who breaks the law on a regular basis. I don't know if you comprehend what I just said, but what I'm saying is that these acts of murder abuse, harassment, all these are crimes that are punishable by jail. And these officers, some of them, not all of them, are getting away with it. If you can't understand that it is time to realize and wake up that you can no longer sit back and not join the fight. Whether it's protesting as a whole, speaking out, writing about it, whatever the case may be. I myself would no longer sit back and not speak out on the injustice of this country. I don't know how powerful this platform is going to be. I don't know how powerful my voice is going to be. I don't know the meaning that it may carry uh, among some of you. Hopefully it will spark an interest in joining this battle, joining this fight, because the fight is not over. And if you think that the fight is over, you are so sadly wrong. You see, they do things like raise gas prices to keep you out of the loop of other sneaky and undermining development shit that they have planned. Case in point, you see, the gas price was raised, raised for a few months just to keep your mind occupied on getting back and forth to your destinations, getting back and forth to work. But at the same time, they were dismantling Roe versus Wade. But isn't it fucking ironic that since that time, that decision has been made to take away women's rights to decide what they want to do with their body. Check this out. The gas prices are starting to go back down. I don't know if you guys understand what I just said, but go back and listen to it again. The gas prices are starting to decrease now that the decision of Roe versus Wade has been made.
we're going to cover this topic a little bit more. We're going to cover the topic again. This is a uh, just a public service announcement. I wanted to share this with you guys. I'm going to have this on uh, all my platforms for you guys to take a look at. But until then, I want you guys to know that I really appreciate you guys coming in, listening to this here, checking out my channels uh, on YouTube, uh, Charles Podcast, Real, Charles Real Talk Podcast, as well as Charles uh, Impressive Reaction video, Videos, Mr. CRT Impressive Reaction Videos. You can check them out uh, on YouTube. You can check out my Facebook page, Charles Thornton, as well as CR Thornton, as well. I have definitely going to be covering some more action here. Later on this week, I hope you guys will join in with me. I'm going to go live on all the platforms so we can all talk and um, just discuss some things. Uh, but until then, please drop your comments down below. And if you haven't subscribed to my station as of this moment, take a few seconds, hit that subscribe button, punch that like button, let me know you know you, you like these contents, and don't and drop no comments as I said earlier down below, and don't forget to turn on your notification bell. Once again, I am your man, Mr. CRT. For all my followers on my Mr. CRT Impressive Reaction Video channel, and for all my followers on Charles Real Talk Podcast, I thank you. I appreciate you. I hope to talk to you again soon. But until then, as I say each and every time that I begin to end this podcast, Peace.